your first Six Nations tournament yeah, it was. and you're, you're winning Grand Slams. How, how does it feel? Um, surreal, to be honest. Um, I couldn't have imagined winning the Grand Slam. You know, we knew we were a team in progress and we're in a progressive state and um, we're going through the cycle. But I think the way that we've come out and we've played has shown where we're at, really. Um, and we're really excited about the progression this team has and how much much more we've got in us. We're not the finished article and we've got a lot to work on still. But I mean, it's great to win a Grand Slam and that, that well out there. I mean, Scotland were no mean feat, but we just seem to play really well today and the conditions didn't help but I think we worked with them and and just just did our job. You've had somewhat of a breakthrough tournament it's been, yeah. it's really impressive considering the competition you've got in the back row but yeah. you just seem to really fit into that role in an English shirt. Yeah I think so I think the help you have around you so Sarah is on 113 caps I mean when I'm here on six I've got my sixth today um, it's unbelievable to just have that amount of support around you and as you say com competition in the back row at the moment is absolutely stacked up like there's so much competition so I just feel really proud to be able to wear the shirt and um, and get out there and represent my country. And how much do you think the domestic league and the Premier 15s is helping this England side develop as it's, it seems to be really uh, opening the gap between you and other countries? Yeah 100% I mean the competition we have in have week in week out is amazing. Um, I'm at Waterloo so um, we get to play the like Saracens, Harlequins, all those sorts of people and the competition that we have I think just builds a better culture in the squad. We know we have to be competitive, we know we have to be playing well to get in. It's not a given that you're going to be selected for your country anymore um, and it's, I think what the Prem 15 has done and the RFU investment has done, it's allowed players to come through the system better so it's allowed players to um, show what they can do and come through that pathway that they may have been missed on before. And just lastly, what are the scenes like in the England changing room at the moment? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real you know we've we just won a grand summer and we're obviously very proud of our achievements so um, we'll have a good time um, we'll, we'll have a good time reflecting on what we've done and what we've actually achieved and then you know uh, again have a nice night tonight and then we'll see we'll come back into camp and start working towards our next our next challenge and just lastly you've got obviously you're with Fearwood Waterloo and yeah. you've got two more rounds of the Premier yeah. so um, no playoff spot for your club yeah. this, this year but still lots to play for the next season yeah 100 percent. I think um, with my club it's just about building we need to build um, we're in a, again much like England we're in a progressive state where we need to build and learn from what what we've done so far you know um, we're not one of the bigger teams in the club so um, we have to just work all together and I'm really proud to come from that club you know I first picked up a rugby ball there so it's really great to get to play for them week in week out um, we've got big two games Worcester so that's a bit of a bit of a big clash game um, and then we've got Sammy's last game of the season so that'd be a great occasion with the double header with the men so that'd be really good to get out there hopefully in front of a big crowd Thank you.